Hello everyone, this is a fruity back with another deck review. This is the Ferdman Records deck. Ferdman Records, uh, FerdmanRecords.com is the website. It's apparently a music shop of some sort. And apparently they've also created some exclusive music. But now they've also created a deck of cards. And apparently there was some involvement with order play as well. And it's also available on their website. Personally, I got this on Ferdman Records because the shipping was a little bit better for me, price-wise. The front of the box, you see it has black foil on on a black box, and it's free people. Uh, there's embossing, especially on the free people. And there's also little details in the corners, as you can see. Very nice foil details. And there's a globe behind the people as well. It says in black foil on one side, Fredman Records playing cards. You guessed that same thing on the other side, although it's hard to read. Top um, says, I apologize. That the, oh, yes, it says Nashville, Tennessee under the seal. I forgot what it said. And the bottom says that it's. Distributed by Ferdman Records as their address and FerdmanRecords.com. Uh, the back is exactly the same as the front, and it also has a nice foil seal with their logo on it, and it's a stamp type seal. These are made by the USBC, by the way. On the flap, there's some lightning bolts, and here as well. And it's kind of a matte. Type in this tough case in case anyone's wondering with the nice foil and embossing. So, we get to the cards. We do get an ad card, says Fredman Records, Nashville, Tennessee. You see the logo with lightning bolts, yellow and white colors throughout the stack on black faces and backs. And here you see another one similar. It's Dead Fredman Records, Nashville, Tennessee. And it's like a uh, radio tower. Back design is a casino type back design diamond type pattern and you'll see the free men in there throughout as well pretty interesting the joker is pretty simple this one's a, a big white lightning bolt with joker in yellow in the corners and the other one well it's a yellow lightning bolt with joker in white the Ace of Spades is the only real special ace, as it should be. And it's, well, it looks like a record. And it's got a spade tip in the center, a small spade tip, which has yellow and white borders. That's a black tip. And the indexes for the spades and clubs are in white, as are the pips in most of the other cards. Um, court cards. They got, you know, some elements of a standard court card. They have no faces. And it looks like they uh, went on a diet and slimmed down, really. <laughs> and um, lots of yellow and white colors. Again, the yellow indexes and everything for this one. I think with all this blank space, they could have thrown in some suit indicator pips, but whatever. It just seems like it's unnecessary blank space. Although it does have a... Uh, Stripe pattern to it, as you can see. Here you see is that king. And the queen. is not see lovely. And exactly, you see lightning bolts on there. The number of cards. All the pips are kind of what we saw before. Basically black with... Oh crap, what did I do? Basically black pips with white borders. It's got like five borders on there. It's like white, black, white, black, white. Kind of ridiculous. And uh, you get the same thing with the uh, hearts and diamonds, which are in yellow. It's pretty nice. They stand out. Custom pips, as you can see. Shape and pattern. So, let's get on with it. Uh, like I said, these are produced by USB-C. So, obviously, bicycle stock, air cushion finish type of a thing. Artwork wise, 
It's a bit of a minimalist deck. They didn't do too much with the court cards or the number cards or even the back design. Wish there was more to it. Um, and like I said, it looks almost like they took a standard court card and they mutated it or something to what you see. I guess it's okay for what it is. I'll say... Well, I'll say three and three quarters out of five for the art. Uh, usability. It is usable for playing cards and magic if you wanted to. I don't see any reason why not, so I'll say, you know, four out of five at the very least. Pretty identifiable, though, for the court cards and the number cards. Um, as for handling-wise, it's okay uh, because it's a borderless pattern kind of hides any issues with the fanning. Um, I mean, it's a good stock and finish from the USB-C. It is, however, black, and there will be some tipping. And there is, I guarantee you. So, um, I'll say 4 out of 5 handling-wise. Overall, you know, maybe 4 out of 5 for the stack. It's not bad. There's definitely decks out there that are better. Not that there's anything horribly wrong with this deck. It's perfectly, you know, acceptable if you want to buy it for collecting or using for magic or playing cards. There's nothing wrong with it. I just think there's other decks that are a heck of a lot better. Um, overall, like I said, it's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's kind of cool. And I do like the colors. I like yellow on black. That I'm a fan of. Anyways, that is that. Make sure you like, comment, rate, subscribe. Check out CollectiblePlayingCards.com. Use the code VJZ32. You get 10% off your order. Also, I believe it's still in effect. I'm not 100% sure. If you use the code VIC10, V-I-C-1-0, you can get $10 off their membership. If you want to join that, where you can get more discounts. Anyways, that's that. See you next time. Thanks for watching.